Hello to friends, uh, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I will show you the unboxing and first look of a really, really old CRKT knife that I recently got uh, just to add uh, to my uh, Emerson CQC 7 series of videos. So if you uh, did see uh, some of those videos, uh, there will be also a, a playlist so you can check it out through the years, what knives uh, were made and uh, which resemble or take cues from the legendary uh, CQC7 design. And I do not want to, to say that uh, uh, this is a direct uh, inspiration of that knife, but uh, there are certain similarities, uh, what I will be talking in this video. So uh, the CRKT Crawford Falcon is a uh, is a pet Crawford design. So here is a uh, really distinguished, well-known designer in the knife community of United States of America. Uh, he produced quite a few uh, beautiful designs, technical designs for CRKT. This is the 6243N, also known as Crawford Falcon. This is a full-sized uh, technical uh, utility knife, as you can see right by the size and also the robust construction. So let me give you the specifications. So we have a over length of 22.6 uh, centimeters or 9 inches. Uh, blade length is 9.7 centimeters or 3.8 inches. The blade width is 2.7 centimeters or 1 inch. Thickness was 3 millimeters or 0 0.1 inch. Handles are 13 centimeters or 5.1 inch long with a thickness of 1.3 centimeters or 0 0.5 inches. Since this is a uh, older knife, uh, we are talking around 18 years ago. Uh, the, the materials used on the blade is OS 6M. And this is a bead blasted drop point uh, stainless steel. Uh, which is equivalent of maybe around 440A. The handles are made out of uh, Zytel. It is a uh, polymer plastic, of course. We have full stainless steel liners, which are skeletonized through the scales, of course. So you can see that right there. So we have significant weight reduction at, a, at 9 inches with these uh, features there. The blade finish is uh, bead blasted. It has a partial serrated drop point blade. These are the older style uh, uh, teeth style serrations, uh, which uh, CRKT and lots of other companies did made. They are really, really hard to sharpen and they are really aggressive. So they were teared through uh, to fabric and uh, meat and everything else. Uh, then of course, uh, CRKT did switch to, uh, to web serrations at a certain uh, time point in their uh, production. But this is one of those uh, older style knives. So it has the older style serrations. Opening method is only via this uh, thumb disc which is we also resembles a little bit the thumb disks that uh, Emerson is using, but these were a standard uh, deployment method back in those days. So lots of other companies and makers did use these styles of opener just because it is ambidextrous and you don't have to, uh, to drill through the, the scales or even make an opening by, by uh, weakening the, the blade with that. So. On the one side we have a Crawford Falcon name, US patent, probably for the log system. And on the side we have CRKT. As far as log goes, uh, we have a traditional liner log and then we have also a manual logs. So um, some of the CRKTs uh, through the years did have some iterations, or uh, some had ma um, the manual one, some had the automatic one, which will snap close. Uh, let me try to 
show you what this does. It it this introduce a tab of steel in front of the liner lock, so you cannot uh, close it. We have to push it, and now the, basically the auto locks makes it uh, makes it uh, introduction with a spring and it will snap open when you open the the blade it will snap in this engaged position and you will not able to close the knife and uh, the locks is obviously an acronym for lake and walker knife safety system on the newer models uh, we don't have uh, this anymore mainly by introducing the dead deadbolt locking uh, system that CRKT is now implementing on lots of uh, their designs. Okay, so the weight comes at 151 gram or 5.3 ounces and these are made in China. Pocket clip uh, did change from the first series to the second one. The first one had uh, a not a uh, deep carry one with a with a uh, rounded one like that S type or how to call it and then they uh, switched it to this nice deep carry pocket clip which is has medium to light tension so you can definitely carry it uh, without any problems unfortunately there is only a tip down configuration so please be careful when you are carrying this one but this, that will be probably not an issue because this uh, knife is a discontinuing model for a long time but still you can uh, correct them down as you can see there the blade was a little bit open so that at some situation could happen when you are fumbling around with your hand in your pocket and that could definitely uh, hurt you really badly if it, it would does open okay so now uh, let's see the, the sharpness test out of the box like this nice and sharp the serrations yeah the serrations will be also functional So now let's see the uh, the size comparisons between a standard CQC7 with the wave and I have also my Benchmade Specor which was one of the uh, the first CQC7s uh, produced. Given this is a nine inches overall length, uh, it will be more uh, comparable with the super size uh, CQC7. But uh, and since this one has a uh, more a I would say drop point style blade than a Tanto, it definitely is different. But then of course there is also a uh, CQC7 variant which which has a, a drop point blade, but that was introduced uh, later on. But anyway, I will also put this one into the into the CQC7 uh, collection. Since it, uh, as far as I know, uh, by my research, it did, uh, came out after the, the CQC7, but uh, maybe the original design by uh, by Pat Crawford uh, did date way back before Amazon. I don't know, but uh, if you know, please let me know. So. So everybody does uh, have this information. So now let's continue with uh, some other size comparisons. So here's my Emerson Commander. Paramilitary 2. Seven ten from Benchmade
a full-sized uh, Recon 1 from Cold Steel Knives. This is the spear point version. So here is the red Model 1. Spider Cole Delica. Both of them are excellent EDC knives, so I recommend these. Bug Vintage uh, Avid. Full size Griptilian from Benchmade. CGRB Feldspar. The full size one. With the Petrified Fish 949 uh, Warrior. Benchmade Bug Out. Here's the CVV Elementum. The best tech uh, Dundee. Can save nice as a cure. The CRKT has a cure. Also, an excellent tactical folding knife. Here is the Rough Rider Peanut. And let's close it down with the Kebar Dozier Folding Hunter. So the last thing that I would like to talk about is uh, obviously the pricing, since I didn't, didn't mention that. Given that this is a uh, discontinued model, uh, you will probably have uh, have search on the secondary market. I was lucky to find one on the shelf sitting at uh, one of our local uh, knife dealers. So, but back in uh, 18 years ago or somewhere around this the msrp was around 29.95 uh so the price the selling price in us dollars was around uh 16 dollars so for the for those uh uh those days uh it was an excellent price certainly uh we don't see that uh too often uh, these days uh, for a full-size knife uh, to have uh but uh here in Europe, uh, they usually went for around $31. Uh, if you can track down one or two, maybe you will be lucky. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. This is a really old design. And, and I'm really happy that I could find one at a uh, reasonable price. Because if you look on eBay, sometimes uh, these can uh, go and up, up uh, as, uh, as $99, $100. So definitely do not pay. That much money for for this knife uh, just search around maybe uh, at your local dealers or on internet and if you need one you will definitely uh, maybe will have uh, luck when I could find here one in Slovakia and definitely uh, and around the world there should be more of them these were produced in a uh, large quantity back in the day so Good to see that still after <laughs> 18 e years uh, they are still uh, available. And overall, I must say this is a really nicely designed. The handle feels really nice and comfortable, almost like the like the it was shaped to my hand. I have excellent size hands, so keep that in mind. Similar to to the CQC Seven also has a neutral style of handle yeah okay
Okay, so uh, this was the CRKT Crawford Falcon, a nice uh, tactical knife from 18 years ago. If you have any questions, please do comment down below. I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can, of course. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much. Bing thousand to you. I always appreciate my subscriber taking their time watching my videos, letting me know what they think about the knife and uh, everything else. Uh, so yeah, feel free to let me know. And uh, with that being said, I wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you soon. Bye.